Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 second round match between Tempest Soul and their Dark Elves and Antonaft and their Nurgle. Um, a very interesting matchup, lots of lots of strong boys. <laughs> Not the best Nurgle team ever, is it? He's got a babe. Um, got a couple of tackle and some claw mighty and stuff. It's not terrible, is it? Yes, Nurgle team. <laughs> hey, well done, Bezel. <laughs> oh, man. I've made the Nurgle team that you said, uh, but I just haven't used it yet. And then uh, Tempest Soul. What's he got? He's got a guard. He's got loads of sidestep and an edge. Um, obviously missing movement and strength players. But sidestep's really flipping good, isn't it? So, you know... Got plenty of sidestep. Lacking tackle, funnily enough. Lacking mighty blow. But got got a bunch of sidestep. One edge, one guard. So it's a pretty light dark elf team. Gadenic setup, love to see it. Must have watched the guide. Yeah, he hasn't got a claw on has he? I don't know, maybe he's one that died. But like everything about the team's a bit met, isn't it? He's only got you know, he's got a rookie Nurgle Warrior there. He's only got a few skills on these. And then, uh, Ball Carrier's fine. Blood Shoe Hands is the skills that you want, isn't it? You want stats as well, but he's got the skills. Both both the other Pesties have Tackle Mighty, which is good. Looking at Stells. So, like, they're, they're fine. And they're low TV as well, so they're not, like, giving away a wizard. So it's not the worst. It's not the worst team, but um, yep. Tempest Soul is going the full. He's going the full uh, luminous light route of all of the sidesteppers are in contact on turn one. Which it can be a bit dodgy, can't it? It can definitely be a bit dodgy. High risk, high reward. But like this is definitely going to be very difficult for uh, Antonaf to deal with. I mean, you, you certainly get more exciting ones, right? You still certainly get more exciting ones. You get ones with, like, Strength 5 players, and you get ones with, like, Pommers, and you get ones with Strength 4 and Edge 5. Like, you know, you get the Superman players. The Superman players are what really makes Delves contenders, I think. You know, like my uh, like my High Elf Strength 5 catcher. You know, if you get you get a double, double started players are pretty exciting for them teams. Nurgle, they just have to be like mega high TV with loads and loads and loads of kill skills on them. And look at the uh, beast here, he's good against elves, or maybe he's not, maybe he's just stuck and can't even be activated. And he's trading for a rookie line. Yuck. And you could argue that's bad play from Antonav, or good play from Tempest Soul, but I just think it's the nature of the beast. It just ends up getting marginalised too easily. Well, unless somebody deliberately faces it. <laughs> that's true, dear five. That's true. But I still think that's fine. I I remember when I won Crown of Sand in Fumble. <laughs> Don't know if I ever mentioned that. <laughs> um, like, I knew I had the best team, and, and I thought my team was pretty exciting. Like, I, I knew I had the best team in the competition. And, uh, and I thought my team was pretty exciting. But I, again, I had a strength 4, edge 4, Pestigo, and a very killy team that averaged 7 cars a, a game during the tournament. Like 49 cars in 7 games. So... It was very rowdy and had a great ball carry. Wow. <laughs> he did all that. So there you go, I was just saying about how bad the beast was getting marginalised. And then Tempest Soul sticks five players on the beast. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. And gave him a friend, yep, yep. And pushed him into the, the instant activation. Wow. 
Yes, googly moogly. Yeah, we found that. That's that's been that's been a while since that's uh, that was discovered. Yeah, unbelievable, isn't it? Stretch and knife at you. <laughs> Jimmy, fantastic. <laughs> Pretty wild. Hello, Jimothy. Hello there. How are you, buddy? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm all right. My uh, my voice is just now back in action, uh, so I hope you don't mind me jumping in and saying hello. Oh, I definitely mind. I think it's outrageous. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I miss, missed you, man. It was uh, missed not hanging out. Yeah, I missed how are you? you? Great to have you back. Uh, not Aww. bad. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. My 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 voice is uh, is is nearly better. You can hear it still. The fucking week and a half like this. Can you imagine oh, me God. with my reputation? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't even imagine you stop talking. Never mind. Not be able to. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. Uh, I, I'm I'm coming to you li uh, just after finishing up doing the casting for. Um, Crystal Hunter on his channel for his uh, game against Elliot. Did you guys watch that live? We did, yes, yes. Amazingly, yeah. there was a there was the opportunity to uh, do it because the uh, the Goblin Town in oh wow he gets the one D full yeah. pal. What a wow. look at dog. Um, the Goblin Town Invitational ended just in time to watch the whole thing live. So that was nice. Absolutely amazing. So I was actually going to jump in to watch it with you, but I received a, a text message as I was loading up Dis Discord, going, uh, "Can you come and do?" Yeah do it on my channel please um from crystal hunter and of course who am i to turn down a captive audience and uh, was happy to help him out Lovely. so um there we go uh great game uh pretty exciting um some dice were rolled <laughs> yes <laughs> uh poor old Elliot. yeah yeah poor yeah. Elliot. yeah that uh that that, that uh, the gfi into double skull was just horrendous yeah, I mean the whole so, game was like was 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 pretty bad, wasn't it? But yeah, that was the icing. <laughs> it really was. Yeah, that was the uh, it was exactly the, the what you don't want, you know. How's this going? We've got uh, oh the Nurgle team. Nurgle, yeah, against Tempest Soul. So nice and early in the game. How are we looking? Uh, it's interesting. There was there was Tempest Soul went very oh wow we just failed the one in nine. Uh, Tempest Soul went very uh, luminous light, all men's basing with sidestep. Um, Good. Then marginalised the beast, and then didn't like that he'd marginalised the beast, so stuck five players on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, First uh, of many foul appearances. Oh, and now he's just one dice powering it. There you go. Yep, sure, why not? I mean, did an armour break, though, so pretty diced, really. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so it went from really kind of like, yeah, I don't really know what's happening, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, certainly. I, I'm not sure what a Keebler Elf is, J5, so I, you're going to have to take your word on it. I imagine a Keebler Elf is an elf going through puberty, which is pretty much what I sound like. Um, <laughs> or indeed, sound like I sound a little bit like like a Dane, don't I? <laughs> like an yeah. Irish Dane? Um, well, he's, um, still, he's still going through puberty, isn't voice he? Voice crackling for no real reason. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. JK, love you really. <laughs> Ooh, he knows oh, the edge oh, five, yeah. gets the ball. Pretty nice and a pretty great turnover. I, I imagine this is the, uh, the the Nurgle's drive, it right? Is, yeah. <gasps> and then does indeed fail the dodge out with his witch. Yeah. I don't know what so, a Keebler of is. I know Stacy Keebler. Um, mm -hmm. A very, very attractive wrestler. Oh, very good. Cool. Um, I'm not familiar with his work. Uh, Way. She. <laughs> I, 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 I know. That is a joke. It could have been. Uh, it could have been. A, it could have been a male, of course. Shirley Crabtree was a That's was a right. male wrestler. Yeah. There's a there's a great drag drag queen in Ireland. Our most famous drag queen is a guy in uh, Dublin called uh, Shirley Temple Bar, um, which is pretty funny because Temple Bar is the main drinking area in Dublin. Mm. And uh, runs a uh, run her, her and, a, and, a, and, a, and a guy called uh, Panty Bliss. Uh, <laughs> they run a, they run a place called the Panty Bar, which is uh, uh, the, the the big gay bar in Dublin. Absolute legends, two really really great uh, drag queens and uh, and lovely lads, mm. uh, both of whom I've had the pleasure of. Uh, of, of hanging out with quite a oh, lot. Oh, hanging out with? I thought that, I thought that was going somewhere else for a second. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I'm European man, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> J5 
you know, me. Ranglish. I was like, come on, keep it PG, kill off. Hey. <laughs> Not with this voice. Hey, hello. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, biscuits. Oh, very good. Uh, they live in tree trees and make biscuits. Oh, mm -hmm. very good. Thank you. And there's a picture in there. Brilliant. Fantastic. Brilliant. Yep. Oh, I well, need. <laughs> yeah, I really want that. I really want that. Yeah. I'll stop breathing when to see it's right. going yeah. to be. What happened there is I, I left quite the opening, is what happened. Way. Hey. Yeah. So, oh, wow, that's a key. Super role, aggressive, is it? isn't it? Um, really, really like it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Jay Bazzi knows. Um. So, yeah, it does manage to get the ball. Did not want to pick up on that elf because that elf is in base contact with a, a strength four mighty bloke tackle uh, goat. So, uh, yeah, I think I might see some dice on the ball here, Jim. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh. Wow, opening up with a rookie warrior hit. Not probably great. Don't know that he needed to. Oh, he did need to cut the assist because he didn't want to use it as the blitz. Of course, the reroll gone now means he doesn't uh, get the hit down on this. And uh, there goes his chance. Probably not the best uh, idea to have taken the blocks in that order, but then, of course, uh, I would say that after the fact. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? It's, it's easy to say anything after the fact, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you can you get know. the beast in, though. Yep. There he goes. His slugness himself parks himself on top of the beast. Yep. But uh, he hasn't seemed to have had any issues in getting the uh, beast down. Yeah. That wasn't that wasn't intentionally dirty either. <laughs> God, yeah. This. Do you know what? You you might you might you maybe should have a bad voice all the time, Kalon. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound pretty fucking irresistible right now. Yeah. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to write for a life bubble. <laughs> Fucking I can only hell. get so erect. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, <laughs> <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> yeah, I have to rethink my whole um, being a uh, being a designated bachelor thing. <laughs> oh god. Well, so it looks like he's trusting in the dodge to get away, and uh, tentacles not being a thing. Yeah. Which is uh, definitely a choice. <laughs> I've never been more aroused while watching Blood Bowl <laughs> in my life. Oh, didn't get off the beast. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right, Jim? That's what this is. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this is like second only to having Henry Cavill on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, lads. I mean, thank you. I, I mean, I very much appreciate the compliment. But, wow. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I should, I should, I should be sultry more often. <laughs> you really should, yeah, honestly. Like, holy shit, this is like a, this is like a nuclear weapon that you have in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Does get the hit, gets the, the, the stun only, but, uh, but pretty massive, and the disturbing presence all pops to stop this oh. mega catch. Oh, and he scatter catches it anyway. Unbelievable. Oh, else. Ah, uh, else. Unbelievable. Just roll sixes, right? He gets the, he gets Ooh, the six gets himself. Him. Wow. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. Good oh. Lord. <laughs> the, uh, this, this is quite the game of past the parcel, eh? Yeah. You can't get the beast on. He needed, he needed a power, didn't he, to get the beast on? Hmm. <laughs> Babe station. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, do you, you know, know what he could have done? He could have, um... Like the... You're on the internet, beard. There's proper porn. Like you don't have to, you don't have to watch Babe Station. Mate. I mean, come on, man. What is it? The nineties? Fucking up late, hoping your parents don't wake up while you're downstairs watching Sky. Who who knows Jesus, how old? Man. Who knows how old Beard G is? Like he might not have a beard. He might just be called Beard G because he dreams of having a beard one day and he's like well, twelve. You know? Who knows? Yeah, I suppose. Well, I'm I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's um he's whatever. You know, twenty twenty two minus nineteen eighty nine is. No, that's a that's a bold that's a bold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, either yeah. that or he was twenty. He was twenty off going um going full hilarious. Yeah. Ooh, and fails the catch, but the ball is on the other side of the pitch. 
That's pretty great for turn seven. Yeah, and that was a nice move uh, last yeah. turn from Anton, getting the stink yeah, on him. The right? guy back. Good, yeah, yeah. Good really, little really moves, nice. and it? it made it made the really difference. Nice. Really, really nice. Oh yeah, we can say it again. I couldn't say it because Skuro yeah. was co-commentating, so it was uh, it was cool, taking cool. everything in me not to say really nice every time. <laughs> <laughs> but now you have to put up with uh, some sort of sexy Irish lad. So. Oh no, it's, this is fucking so hard, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <But> hey! <laughs> and not just the commentary, we <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I was thinking, Wally. What's going on? <laughs> fucking hell. Some lad, like, having problems because he downloaded porn and wasn't able to get them playing properly on his Windows Media Player. <laughs> like, come on, man. He got a virus from Kazar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've moved on, pal. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Churgent. How are you, buddy? Myself and Churgent had a, a lovely catch-up over in Malta. Uh, an absolutely lovely guy who's, um, who's pretty good at football in the real life as well. Mm -hmm. uh, did excellently himself and uh, himself and Vogue managing to uh, 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 save sick as eggs and uh, Hancock from actually having to play any blood ball all weekend. Nice. So um, very very well done. They did they did excellently, nice. including the taking out of some morgues and some and some griffs and whatnot uh, by by Chirgant. Yeah, lovely lovely stuff. Chirgant. <laughs> yeah, lovely guy, lovely guy. <laughs> Yeah, lime wire. Oh man, yeah, I remember lime wire. Not that I ever used it, of course. I remember other people using it because I would never. You wouldn't download a car. Wouldn't download a car. No, of course. Who would want to download a car? That would be insane. Who would want to just down download like thirty grand of something for free? Well, not even thirty. You'd download a Lamborghini, wouldn't you? Who'd want to download half a million's worth of stuff for free? That would be mental. I would never. Such a stupid ad. Um, that came up last night and made me laugh. The funny thing is, now uh, you can download a car, can't you? With like 3D printers, you 3D printing, yeah, that's car, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be very good, it'd be a fucking a 2CV or whatever, but you know, nevertheless. But you could. Yeah. I wonder how long it is Imagine until we can, printing. like, like, it makes you wonder, though, how, how far away people are from just printing a Lamborghini. <laughs> Well, I mean, you definitely, I, I mean, I would love to 3D print, because, uh, you know, I mean, Lamborghini's obviously pretty cool, but you want it like a, an old 2CV or something like that would be pretty cool. Those cars are amazing, and it would probably be better quality than what they originally made it out of yeah. as well. Yeah. And just print a, a working engine, just make it a pedal power, and there you go. There you go. There you go. You're welcome, everybody. Somebody's going to go do that now and uh, make, some, make some money off it. Yeah, oh, but honestly, maybe it happens in our lifetime, right? That, like the technology, maybe it wouldn't. Like the, the the automobile industry would not want people to be able to download cars, would they? Uh, no, no, probably not. No. No. Uh, so pretty unlucky there at the end. Uh, failed that. Um, failed that three plus pickup to go and score. Yeah, and we've got everything else pretty much down on the wire. Really nice setup here against the Blitz. Uh, yep. You gotta say. Yeah, um, right. had set up for the DACA, but knew that the Blitz was actually the big, the big worry. Probably should have had a guy in the middle uh, in base contact with all those three guys because, uh, that, yeah, actually that was terrible. <laughs> not, not having anybody there, but other, yeah, other than that, rookie, it was great. This rookie could have gone on him, couldn't he? Uh, exactly. Yeah, on those three. Yeah, um, no reason not to. I mean, if he was really worried about it, he could have, he could have uh, put a Dodger there so that at least he had the reroll for the Dodge away. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, yeah, some rookie shader would have been. <clears throat> I mean, would have been. the guy who got blitzed, in fact, should have just been sad on him. Yeah, you you say that, Bezel, but the raw materials cost for a Lamborghini is significantly less than half a million dollars, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you know it'd be it'd be interesting, but um, yeah, it was still a success for Tempestol, didn't it? like although he got really close to counter scoring. Nil nil is still is still a win, and he can still mm -hmm. he can still stall out this half and win one nil, or even not stall it out because it's Nurgle, right? So even if he has to go in early, um, there's a good chance of getting the one nil win now. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's laughing at the driving seat. The, exp the expression "freeze frame on green wavy tits" is. <laughs> Is is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Bit of poetry there from from J Five. <laughs> and fell to pick up the reroll he didn't want to have to put in. Yeah, yeah. That that that. Uh, what's it called? Basic instinct, wasn't it? Was like the most the most paused moment in. Uh, it was. Yeah. In history. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the one that did it for me was um, 
because uh, I had it on VHS, and all of a sudden our copy of uh, the movie would just go haywire because of the amount of times I had, I had uh, watched it, rewound it, and watched it again. <laughs> was um, <laughs> was uh, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, uh, in the in the name of the rose, is that what the movie is? I've With them, um, uh, it's 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 a really great movie. It's got loads of cool people and Sean Connery and Christian Slater and um, Ron Perlman. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the Crying Game. <laughs> yeah, that was also very posed. Yeah, it was very posed. Yeah, well done, lads. <laughs> yeah. Sean Connery is a monk, exactly that. Oh, um, God. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there was a, there was a scene in that where, uh, where Christian Slater got, uh, got, 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 uh, he, he got it off some, uh, some cheeky whore in the monastery. Mm. And, uh, yeah, it, that, that did it for me. Mm. Yeah. 1986, flip me. Yeah, great movie. <laughs> when you Google okay. the name of the rose, it says that moment in the name of the rose. Like, yeah, it, yeah. You're not alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really, I'm, I'm glad. I'm like, you know, because I mean, I don't know. Not that I'm ashamed to, to share these things with you guys. You guys are my friends, right? Uh, but, uh, but it is, it is always nice when, uh, when, when other people, um, uh, share those moments with you. Go, yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, and hello, Daedal. Yep, Daedal is the yeah. Goblin King. Glorious. Uh, yes, that is correct, uh, Lee. Uh, a great book as well. Absolutely fantastic book. Um, or novel, <laughs> as you say. Yeah. Not, not actual mutual masturbation, though, presumably. <laughs> Just. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a bit of a jump there, Enzo. Um, I, I know I'm sounding pretty irresistible at the moment. Like. Try to contain yourself, mate. <laughs> that is actually something different than, than two people individually solo masturbating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In their own lives at various points. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, fair play. <laughs> but I guess with Kalon's voice at this moment, I guess that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair <laughs> bit of it going on. I can imagine a lot of lads paying zero attention to this fucking this game. <laughs> Pants around the ankles, fucking wank sock at the ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm back, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so great to be back. We had a chance to talk about uh, Malta as well. Dude, I had such an excellent time. And everybody was so nice. <laughs> and uh, got so many great um, uh, comments on the show as well, uh, Jim. There's a bunch of people out there who absolutely love the show and watch it. A uh, oh, bunch of lads who watch it on Twitch. But the amount of guys I, I, I was chatting to who were like, your voice is really familiar. And uh, do you do some stuff on YouTube? And I was like, oh, you know, I do some casting for Jim. And they were like, oh, you're that guy. Oh, my God. I fucking love Jim's thing. I'm like... It's like when I get home from work, I watch the YouTube of, uh, of, of all of the different Chalice games that day. And oh, it was really nice. They were so complimentary as well. Oh, that's lovely. They had some nice things to say about you as well. But, um... <laughs> 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 but no, everybody was so nice. Like myself and Rolex got on really well. What a champ. Oh, um, nice. Rolex, was, Rolex was absolutely lovely with such a lovely hangout in <laughs> Volcajo. And and uh, and Kfo and oh a bunch of really great guys and I played some lovely people and uh, I got so drunk it was great <laughs> like so drunk fuck me me and the Scots <laughs> fucking hell oh, yeah this is uh, this is how to not defend against the Dakar isn't it these mm. uh, noble being like they've got yeah. a full team and but yet they're yeah. just really narrow and yeah they're really responsive they're really... and. They've dedicated a guy back to not deal with him, and it's that's right. It's yeah. all gone wrong. It kind of has, yeah. Just kind of setting up for as many hits as he can, which is just not how you deal with the Daka, unfortunately. So maybe we are seeing a little bit of um, of uh, uh, experience from uh, from Antonov. Uh, mm. I know this is his first chalice as well. Well, certainly under this name, um, yeah. it's his first chalice, and he had a nice opening round as well. And it's a decent team, but um, yeah. 
And he could have hit the ball here. Like this was. Mm -hmm. uh, oh no, this sidestep. Because mm. I was thinking he could have. He could have chained. He could have chained, and then you know, like chained, and, and then hit. hit. And the but then yep. sidestep would mean that he would have. Uh, he would have sidestepped to here and kept it. Yeah. There was also a little earlier on. He had a pretty nice defense across it, and uh, and, and did roll a double skull on the um, on a on a blitz. And uh, I think he probably should have eaten it. Um, having the third reroll for later in this half would have been so much better. Because mm. he'd only like one guy left to move as well. So. Mm. But obviously, I mean, it was a claw hit, so fair enough. If you yeah. want to just, just go for it and reroll it. But with a rookie Nurgle Warrior and so many shitty um, rotters up against a, a pretty great um, elf team, I think those rerolls are going to be of, of so much use later on when you, when you do get that small chance at, a, at, a, at some dice on the ball. Uh, not having the reroll to, to, to go in there is going to be costly. Potentially, yep. Good night, Waleed. Um, oh, take care of yourself, Waleed. Great to see you, buddy. I mean, this is looking that good for the Dark Elves oh somehow. But... Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just red. <laughs> Just red J5. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, somewhere <laughs> out there. <laughs> what a what a lovely moment. Ooh, wow! You know, like that. Huge. That's an apple. Ooh, and it does work. Fully works. Yep. Which is pretty gay, but playing for keeps. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wowee. Look at the uh, beast completely marginalised, unable to recover yeah. him as well because Just... of. Uh... Really stupid. Oh, and another reroll gone. Yeah, this there. one had to be rerolled, right? Wow. This is the one where you have yeah. to reroll. So yeah, now if he had exactly. two rerolls, he'd be looking a lot better than with one, but yeah. he'd still be looking That's fucked. <laughs> so uh, he has got bigger problems yeah. than the lack of rerolls, to be fair. Um, For but, yeah. sure. I mean, if you think back as well, and and and, and I did mention at the time, he was pretty lucky to have only gone in at the half on uh, on, on on nil all, because yeah. it was a three plus to just score. So. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think mean, he's, he's been, he's, despite the fact that he's had to spend two rerolls on some ship blocks, and despite the fact that he looks pretty fucked, he's been quite lucky. Yeah, yeah, in a way, yeah. Two, two things are possible, because it's a stupid game. Yep. But yeah, it's, it, uh, yeah, so yeah, it really should be on two Much now, better. yeah, you're right. Yeah. It, it might make a difference. Yeah. Especially like wanting to win, <laughs> you know, like like he's probably looking to just realistically just stop the dark elf scoring, and then yeah. take it over time. So that, that's maybe the biggest thing. Not even like, you know, stopping the score or anything. The biggest mm -hmm. thing is how do you win this game, and it's mm -hmm. it's by winning in overtime because it's already nil nil. So yeah, so in that regard, maybe uh, maybe even more so, he shouldn't have really. Had it, yeah, I, I think so. Interesting. Speaking of, uh, yeah, the GFI was pretty unnecessary when he's got this girl to get out and run the back as well. Ooh. Well, it's dodge gone, so now you try yeah, this one. It, yeah, it does. Yeah. Boom, boom. Ugh, what a horrible tag. It's the wrong square as well. Well, it was as far as he could go, so if he fails oh, the GFI, yeah, okay, okay, okay. he's absolutely yeah. screwed. But yeah, it sure makes that GFI look pointless. Doesn't but obviously, miss, yeah. in his head, he, if he gets the GFI and he goes there, then it's really good, isn't yeah. it? Because then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, exactly. 5, 6, GFI, GFI. So you actually, if you were 2 and then get him marked there, then it's really good because then you're a 4, 3 to get hit. So like, there was a lot of there was a lot of good in going for those GFIs, to be fair. Yeah. It's just one of those. It probably was best. It probably was best to make yeah. those two GFIs, honestly. Yeah. 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 No, you're right. Yeah. Because, I mean, the work is still on here to do this. Yeah. So it gets the three plus. Uh, doesn't get him. Gets oh, him and now. it's his last reroll. Wow. Yeah. yeah, like he has to reroll it, right? If you don't power me, you yeah. just lose. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's not like he's got a huge amount of recovery either, right? He's got oh, his ball carry there. Okay, cool. I did, sorry, I, I, I missed that he could come through that square. Yeah. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention to the. Uh -huh. I thought there was a better screen there. No. But yeah, I mean, you're still gonna lose even after even after recovering it. But you've got yep. to try, haven't you? you like you yep. have to try everything you can. So you yep. have to re-roll there. You yeah. can't just hope he rolls a one in thirty-six to not score. Exactly. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. 
Yes, I thought I would have gone for the ball. Uh, but... Yeah. I could have won in 36 this way, get the knockdown. And, and like, you know, yeah. he's compounding the board state for future turns, isn't it? That's a lot of the things I think yeah. where particularly people... Uh, oh, yeah, because of course you have to blitz with him anyway, because he's got tackle. Yeah. Um, one of the things where people, like, you know, criticise maybe uh, Mr. Page for, like, mm -hmm. you know, going for some hits instead of screening or whatever... By going for those hits, you are like compounding your advantage over subsequent turns, aren't you? You are, yeah. Uh, Tense does the things. He doesn't get the tag on the killer. Um, so this is uh, pretty straightforward to get his two dice here. It's amazing that he had the beast marginalized and then just added another player on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he just got the dodge off, it would have been fine, but... Yeah, it's I a 1 in 36 it dodge. It's a 1 in 36 yeah. dodge, just dodge away. Yeah. And then if you, if you, you know, if if you make the dodge, then tag him with somebody, you keep him tagged. Another crap blitz. Yeah, pretty shit. Pretty unlucky not to have got it, but... Yeah. Like, like you know, if you've, got, is, like, if you've got, like, a dwarf on the beast, then by yeah. all means put another dwarf on him and then try to dodge and off the dwarf. And then try to dodge off, yeah. But, exactly. like, but you, this is a 1 in 36 dodge. You have to try yeah. the dodge before you... Tag him again. Well, well, this isn't two, two uh, the hardest uh, two plus, yeah. Oh, he, oh, he's, he probably still doesn't score, right? He might do though. Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, just might as well, right? Because they've no rerolls either. The Nurgle and what? Like, three turns. Yeah, that's the thing. Nurgle. Defending against Nurgle, two turns. Well, yeah, two turns. Yeah, two turn, fine. no rerolls. Yeah, exactly. No edge ups, no move ups. Uh, only three uh, to goals. It was uh, no, I don't, I don't think so, Ducky. I think he got him. He got him the previous turn. He did have to put a reroll into it, but yeah, he got him the previous turn. So, um, and uh, to be fair to him, he's got plenty of powers with fucking rookie lads around the place as well. So, uh, probably a little bit unfortunate. You might be right. Yeah, he was, he was definitely unfortunate. But then yeah. the thing is, even if he powers him, it's just not even that. Like the thing is, it's not even that good. Is even if you power mm -hmm. him. Like you're really up against it if you if you don't if you don't get the bang out which he didn't like he's unlucky to have not banged him out at all isn't he? For if, sure. If yeah. you don't get the bang outs as, as Nurgle, then what are you can yeah. do against these guys they just they just molest you and <laughs> you just lose. Like it's, <laughs> it just happens, doesn't it? Like you know what what can you do? Based up by all this bodge step, like and even if you knock them over, they just pick it up again. Yeah, it's always the it's always the bother when you're. I mean, because Nurgle are just fucking terrible at playing Blood Bowl, and yes. uh, Elves are pretty good at playing Blood Bowl. So when you get yourself in a situation like this, and um, yeah, there's just it's just quite an ask, isn't it? Yeah. And when you're not getting the removals, because you you know they're a lot better at playing uh, Blood Bowl when the other team is dead. Yes, I mean they're terrible at playing Blood Bowl, but they're pretty good at winning because they're so good at fighting. Yeah. The problem is yeah. they've got they've got no plan B. And, uh, and you know, fighting doesn't or being better at fighting doesn't always translate to wins, but it, it usually like it often does. Being the often being it the does. Yeah. Team there. Their plan A is arguably the best in the game, right? You can definitely make yeah. the argument that 2300 TV Nurgle are the best yeah. team um, in the game, yeah. better than Chorfs, yes, but it, because of the regen, right? And because it's just the, the, the fact that they don't need tools for their claw. Yeah, yeah, like they get so much more, so much more bashy than KO there uh, than Chorf, so they're the absolute kings of the bash matchups, and they can still, they, are, yeah. they can still win the elf matchups more often yeah. than not because they're two thousand three hundred very killy team. Indeed. But um, but ultimately they they get into trouble if their if their plan here doesn't work. Yeah. No matter how big they are and how killy they are. So they might be able to leave a bit of a lasting effect uh, on these if he. Uh... Well, he might he might get the two turn. You never know. Yeah, he's got one scoring threat. <laughs> it's not. Uh, oh, he's one oh, in nine though. Yeah. And now this one scoring threat That's is going to get scored the threat, which is, Yeah, exactly. He gets taken care of pretty easily. You could even three. Fairly dice lively. Him. You could even three dice him. He might just two dice him, but he could three dice him. See no reason not to three dice and get the old raise the kill on. Oh, I must send you that. Yeah. Oh yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I provided you. I mean, you, you know, you're gonna have to use it with, um, you know, respect, and uh, you, know, oh. you can't just be using it willy nilly. <laughs> Wait, no, no, of course, of course, it will be. It will be used <laughs> sparingly to maintain, uh, maintain specialness. <laughs> 
good. And uh, we I won't tell why Chad Ward. This. Oh, is, this, is it strength four? Why, why did he use so many players? Um, Because he could, I suppose. But like he could have pushed it into here and then he could have been yep. three, four, five, six, yep. seven, eight, nine, yep. maybe three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's just showing off now. He just wanted to, he, he's put a big H on screen. Yeah, he just put a, wanted to put a so, big H on yep. the screen. Big H, just so you can go have fun in open. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Yeah. Dub skulls. Well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Tepper Soul. Commiserations, Antonaf. That was a pretty, pretty one-sided game, wasn't it? The the Dake just didn't deal with the Dake. He got a lot of blocks, didn't get any removals. Yeah. Uh, didn't really have a, a much of a team, did he? Uh, so yeah, yeah well, he was up against it. Um, thank you very much, Kalon. It was glorious to have you back. Amazing return of sexy voice, Kalon. Oh, real pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.